today as we stop for our prayer and reflection, one of the things that struck me about the Gospel of Luke as Jesus is moving throughout Galilee as he's walking through his ministry, as he's walking about, one of the things that he does is he often stops to pray that the directions that come before something happens is that Jesus was off praying. We see this when after he cures a leper in chapter 5, he went off into the wilderness to pray. And Jesus spent the night alone praying before he chooses the 12 disciples. Jesus was alone praying when he asked the disciples, who do people say that I am? And then he took Peter, James, and John up to the mountain to pray. And one of the spots that Jesus stops and invites us into prayer is when he was in a it just says he was in a certain place praying and after he finished the disciples asked him Lord teach us to pray and that's when he taught us those words that are part of the prayer that he probably said every time he stopped and went out into the wilderness to pray because the words give him a chance to expand them and to ask questions and to raise up the people and places and feelings that he's having. And so he says those words that many of us pray all the time that we don't stop to think about. Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us and do not bring us to the time of trial. He gives us a method and a way to pray when those words are trapped inside us and we don't know what to say. And so this week on our prayer walk, as we walk with Jesus and pray, I want us to take time with these words to experience their power. So I invite you to close your eyes and breathe in deeply. To release your breath. Say, Our Father. God, Holy One, Spirit, Jesus, Lord, Compassionate One, Your kingdom come. God, now here in this place, amongst our people, your kingdom come. Come here in our presence and with us, in our communities and families, in our countries. Bring your kingdom into those places that seems so far, so far away from your kingdom. Give us each day our daily bread. God, in this point in my life, I have the means to provide my daily bread. I have an abundance. 
And so I want to remind myself to think about those who struggle for their daily bread, who aren't sure where the next meal is coming. Especially now during the summer, when kids go get that meal in the middle of the day. So we think about those who need their daily bread. And we lift up those food programs in our community that take food out to where the hungry are, that invite the hungry in to share a meal be with those volunteers and the people who got the courage to seek food, to seek help. And forgive us our sins. God, we lift up to you those places where we fall short where we have turned from your word, where we have failed to live up to our expectations for ourselves, where we have caused harm to another. Ask, seek, and find. You invite us to ask, seek, and find. Show us the question to ask. Invite us to seek the answer and help us find find what it is that we're being pulled for. Amen.